Two things. Number one, I haven't had breakfast and I'm seriously hungry. Number two, the LaFerrari Aperta that I was recording yesterday is now in the PPF bay. The boys don't mess about, they have to get it in. I told them to wait for me, but they couldn't wait. They were here at seven o'clock in the morning, wanted to get us straight into the workshop and start on the car. Let me show you. There she is. She's waiting to be worked on. So as you can see, I probably explained that to you guys. We have a couple of different processes. So the, it's all about the process, to be honest, because when you have this many people working on a car, in terms of you have a wash team that wash the car in a specific way. You have the detailing team that detail it and prep it for either paint protection film or detail it in order for it to go without paint protection film. So there's quite a few different stages in order for the car to be here in the paint protection film bay. It is now in the paint protection film bay, which means it's been washed, it's been detailed, and now it's ready for film to be put on. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that the previous vlogs have been really shaky and I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to get my arm to be a bit stiffer. That sounded really wrong. So Mazin just got his car back, his Turbo S. He hasn't had the car for five days now. It's been at Porsche to get the two front discs replaced because under warranty of something or other, he'll explain to you exactly what it is. Remember the bit I said I was hungry? We're gonna go get some food now. But more importantly, we're gonna go in the Turbo S. Check out my tires. Check out your tires? Yeah. Holy moly. What tires are these? Dunlops. Yeah, unrated. They're the GT3 tires. I thought they came with Michelins. They come with Michelins and Dunlops. Oh, do they? Yeah. What's the width? Uh, 305. This is freaking wide, isn't it? So the car's been away for like five days, right? Yeah, three days. And what's it? What's happened? When you go left and right, put disc on the load, you yeah. got a clicking noise left and right. Okay. And so that was a warranty job on the front discs. Essentially, it's a floating disc, it's got springs, and the springs were defective, they were making some noise. So they changed uh, to the front discs under warranty. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. And what was that bill if you didn't have warranty? About 13 grand. What? 13 grand. So now, Mazin's got his car back, and uh, obviously it's the first time he's driving it in a week. He drives this every single day, as you can see from the mileage. I don't know if you can see it, but 13,356 miles. And the car is six months old. Well, it's a bit long, more than that. Huh? It's going to be a year in October. So it's going to be a year in October. Nine, nine, ten months. Nine, ten months old. So well, that's how you use a 911 turbo, not put it in a garage. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Next time, though, he wants to get buckets. Why would you want to do that? Because the car needs buckets. Lighter. No, but then you would lighter. But why would you want to do that? It's all about comfort with this car. You want to be comfortable when you're driving, and then you put your foot down, and then it. No, you want it to be. You want for coilovers, you want for buckets, and you want to make it the fastest thing A to B on the road ever in existence. This guy's sick. He's sick. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums, ready to race to you. And then this happens. So obviously now we've got the new tires on there. What difference can you, so you're telling me you can take, you feel a difference straight away, even just with the movement. The tread pattern is different. The standard P0s are a good tire, but they're like a normal road tire. These are more a softer compound, more of a semi-slick, but even the directional change is different in the car. Oh really? Even, even, even off center, it feels completely different. So basically what you're saying is that it gives you more accurate, so, so, so when, you're, when you're turning slightly to the left, slightly to the right, you feel different straight away. Even with the front tires, yeah, at the speed as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, you feel it's different amazing, straight away. The directness of the car. Amazing. Every time we go anywhere, anywhere, it's always me that pays my phone because Mazen is useless when it comes to IT and phones. But now you're sorted, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right, let's see, I'll show you. A few moments later. Oh yeah, look, you're organized. Well done. So on Mazin's recommendation, we're gonna come here, Fishers, and we're gonna have a schnitzel. 
Looks good. Malcolm decided to have two main courses because obviously one isn't enough. Oh my god. I don't think I can walk after that. I'm like waddling down the street, man. Look at him. He even took a doggy bag. Huh? Can you believe it? Go to a fancy place like that and you get a doggy bag. I can explain this. It's because of all the bloody food that we ordered. I call truck gun. I'm driving now. This thing, this thing's insane. guys a little update after coming back from lunch I went to the workshop and the boys haven't started on the car yet everything that they're doing is still part of prep so it's not really worth showing so they're still prepping the car so they go around the car after they're detailed and they bring it over they go around the car and make sure that in terms of the PPF side make sure that there's nothing on the paint that's going to make the job look bad or hinder the appearance of the job so that's why with this type of thing you just never know when the car's gonna be commenced in terms of the actual laying of film. I mean, it's quarter past five now. Hopefully, we'll get some film on, some bits, and I can show you guys. If not, it's on to the next day. I still can't move because I'm really filled up. You know, so I thought whilst the guys are doing their bit on the car, on the LaFerrari, I thought I'd show you the differences on this car to a coupe, to a non aperta even People at the dealers, at the dealership, didn't know what parts of the car were actually different. So apart from the visible parts that you can actually obviously see. To give you an example, the bonnet on the car, as you can see right here, the bonnet right here is actually slightly longer than the normal one on the non aperta version, so on the coupe. Also where the actual roof comes off, you're able to put it inside the section here. Um, so these are all small tweaks that you wouldn't really notice but because we, we have a template of the coupe that we're trying to put onto the first aperta that we did we can straight away tell there was a gap by about two inches so we knew that there was some difference there obviously another another point to mention is which is quite obvious is the bit here that section obviously is different sorry to the la ferrari coupe but if we go over to the coupe version as you can see on the coupe, this is what's different over here. So you can see this section here is very different and the front is actually a little bit shorter. Then you also have, which is an obvious part, is a section here at the top, which is very, very different from the aperta and the normal one. So as you can see here on the front, this is the coupe version. Uh, as you can see, this bit here is a big gap Whereas if we look at the Aperta again, the gap is smaller. And that's in order to house the, not the carbon fiber roof, because obviously this doesn't fit inside, but if it has the material version of this, where you actually have a material, um, a canvas, that can actually fold up and go into there. So if you didn't know, now you know.